Hello and welcome. This is a program I've uh, built up using Python and uh, TKinter as the graphical user interface. And what I'm doing with this program is I'm interacting with uh, Cisco devices, so Cisco switches and Cisco routers. So what I've built up is a program that um, has a sort of like a database of devices here and what I'm wanting to do is send uh, commands to Cisco devices to retrieve information and also send commands as well which uh, changes the configuration so if you can kind of uh, think that this is a, a you can create a device here which goes into the uh, working sort of area that you can then interact with a device. So you would be able to create a new device here. So device names, IP addresses, user names, passwords, and then some description there, which is optional. And you could be able to create a device there. So switch one, router one, router two. If we go and have a look at the topology here, which I've built up, um, what I've got is a couple of devices so so this is my Linux box with the program on that I'm going to use as like an automation base and then I've got a switches and, and I've got sort of various routers here um, which I'm going to interact with so I've got seven routers and one switch here so let's move back to the program and let's give you a demonstration on how this actually works to interact with those devices. So on router one, I would be able to select, um, let's say Paramico and show IP interface brief. And that comes straight back with the details. I could show the show IP route on router two and I would be able to run that and that will come back with the details as well. So it's lightning fast and you would never be able to do this in, uh, in the command line by just generally logging in and coming up with the information. So it does work, automation does work if you set it up correctly. So another thing I wanted to do here was be able to build a group up of these devices. So let's say I wanted to build up uh, router one, router two, and router three, and put all those in a group. So let's do that. Let's let's um, create a new group. And what I'm wanting to do is call this a uh, YouTube demo one. YouTube demo one. Let's have those those routers. So router router one and router two and router three is device number two, device number three and device number four. So let's set that. And the config method is Paramico. And let's have a RTR, RTR one, two, three. That's just some notes. And that's created. So let's do a let's let's flip that group switch. Let's clear the data on the bottom. Let's select the uh, YouTube demo one, and let's do the show IP interface brief of all those three devices. So off it goes and comes back, and it, uh, it really is staggeringly fast when you do that. Um, and you set it up as a group. So if you want to do show IP route, let's clear that, let's press the button, and within seconds it should come back with all those uh, devices as well. Let's just uh, scroll down. Okay, here we are. So scrolling down from, from the start here, router one, ending starting router two ending starting router three and ending so that gives you a idea of what you can do 
uh, on the building groups and sending show commands. So you can also select the uh, NetMeco config section here. This means you would be sending configuration commands rather than just show commands. So let's flip the group switch back and let's have a look at doing another uh, program kind of task which would be to back up a device and let's sort of jump now to maybe a different router let's say router uh, 4 and it's ID 5 so we're going to back up this device and we're backing up the running config and let's just identify this as a monthly backup and gives you some information here on what we're about to sort of command it to do and let's do a backup so once I push that backup command I'm able to sort of get some uh, feedback down here on on what's happening so interestingly this is a really important line just to sort of remember really that the file name is RTR4 and it's a monthly backup. So let's sort of use this backup now to, um, for some reason, let's just come out of that and let's do now, um, let's just set that profile up on router four and let's update the details now of that router. So, I've got here router 4, it's just been produced, it's uh, that one, let's just select that and let's change it. So now we've changed the base config. Gives us some idea of when we want to restore it, let's restore that device. We've got router number 4. Let's go for the monthly backup that I've just done. Uh, gives us some options here on whether we're going to copy and merge the config with the current config. Uh, we could do it to the running config or we could do, do it to the startup config. Uh, we could co copy the startup config to the running config afterwards or we could do a straight replace. So that would give us the a brand new config on the device and it wouldn't pull in anything that you've already previously put in and then we could also copy the running config to the startup config which would mean if it was rebooted for some reason it would then be a complete uh, profile so let's just do a, a, a replace the running config and let's do a to a, a running config to the startup config and let's run that and let's see what happens um, we're getting a, um, a sort of some feedback on what's going off here um, it goes and checks that um, the config name is correct here and, uh, and this is the file that it's gone and looked for and along the bottom now We've got that the uh, the request is complete, and we've got a uh, a confirmation that the running config uh, has been copied to the startup config, which was this selection here. An RT1 now is a running config, so it replaced the running config there. So towards the end of this video now, what I want to do is just go and look at backing up and restoring a group so let's just say I want to so let's back up a group of devices here let's go for the uh, YouTube demo one which is router one two and three we're going to back up the whole of these three devices all in one go so let's lock that in I'm just going to adjust that so you can just see the bottom here um, let's do the running config, but you could also do the startup config. Let's do a golden file and let's lock that in and let's do the backup. 
So it does take a little while to do this and we should be able to get some feedback on what's happening here. While that's doing, I'll have a look at uh, router one, two and three on the files that are, that are coming through and see if I can uh, show you what's happening there. No, sorry, just bear with me. That's uh, It's got to just do its stuff here. So it's coming back. First one is router one's already done. It's moving the file from the temporary location and moving it to uh, to the file on the R RTR1. RTR2 is just done and RTR3 is coming back as well. So that's all complete now. So let's have a look now at, uh, at say, router 3 and let's do an update on router 3 and let's do a file config and we've got the file which it just produced which is that one there so that can be the new file so as a general kind of like overarch now you're free to sort of um, have a look at this on on github download it yourself see it see if you can get it to work um, you may run into problems because um, it does need a lot of dependencies and you also need a, a TFTP server uh, but, I, but I try and point you in the right direction and um, hopefully you'll find that uh, to be of uh, some use to you. So thanks for stopping by, drop me a line and uh, have a nice day.